this video, I'm going to show you how to use the play X spot out of the gun bunch tied in. This is a great flood concept to the bunch side of the formation. We're going to show you how you can also equip this to be able to attack man coverage with the running back apprentice ability. You can also do it if you don't have that, but we're going to show with that in this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button. Also, if you want to get my entire gun bunch tied in offensive ebook, it is available by joining the Patreon. The link's going to be down in the description. We actually broke the run heavy playbook down for that, but um, a lot of these concepts transfer playbook to playbook. So again, if you want to check that out, the link's going to be down below. X spot is a great way to attack cover four, cover three, uh, really any kind of zone. And it, we can also make this a really good setup against man. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to run this with our bunch to the short side of the field. And we are just going to put a streak to the left side receiver. We are going to uh, drag our tight end. And then we're going to put our running back on an angle route. And essentially, we're going to have a high low here on the left side. We want to always look to that flat route quick. If they're not playing hard flats, then we want to be able to take advantage of that hard flat uh, with a very simple uh, you know, drag route. Now, if they are playing hard flats and they shoot down to go guard the flat, then what we want to do is we want to look up, and we oftentimes are going to have this little corner route to the sideline just like that. Very effective. And what's also cool about this, let's say that you're playing somebody and maybe they're running like a cover three coverage on you. Um, this cover three coverage will press this uh, slot. And so typically, this is where you'll be able to hit this quick throw flat against a curl flat, generally speaking. So what they're going to have to do to stop the uh, little quick flat throw is they're going to have to come up, they're going to have to shade down, and they're going to have to play hard flats. Well, then what you're going to notice here is that this corner route is typically not going to get pressed. So then you can just throw to the sideline just like that and be able to attack the coverage with ease. Now, another really cool thing about this play is that this, this um, Texas pattern – and this back, these backside concepts are really good for attacking the defense as well. For example, let's say they're in a cover two. You see, we're just going to take our flat just like that against the cover two. So now they have to play the hard flat coverage over there to take that away. And if they're going to do that, most people are going to run cover two so they can have a cloud. So they might double flat, uh, kind of like a double Mabel style, which is going to then in turn leave the middle of the field open. But also the other thing I want to show you is this corner route does a really good job of getting over the top of a pressed cloud flat. Now, if the cloud flat is not pressed, so let's say they back off this cloud flat, it's really important to show this, you're gonna notice here that this corner route is gonna get played slightly better. Now, you would have to wait on this and really have to kind of have a little bit deeper of a corner route to be able to attack this coverage. So what I like to do, and this is where the rest of the play comes together, is typically if they're gonna be double flatting, they're not gonna be able to be sending pressure and they're going to be used right over the middle of the field. And you're going to have a one-two read on this back side. The first read is really this tight end. You want to hit it just like that. Boom. Easy read. If they don't put their yellow zones down at about five yards, you're going to be able to hit that consistently um, to that. So now the user has to make a decision. And oftentimes what he'll end up doing is he'll end up kind of going with the tight end drag. And this is where the running back on this Texas pattern is really helpful because they go with the tight end drag. Then you have the Texas pattern coming over the middle, just like that, and you're able to attack the defense. Another way that people like to play coverage, specifically against bunch tight end, if you're going to play any kind of zone coverage, is going to be something like this, where we have a hard flat. We're not going to have typically two yellow zones on this on the same play, very uncommon um, defensively. So as this goes even better, you're going to see this hard flat is going to kind of come outside a little bit more, running back angle route right over the middle, and we're able to hit that as a nice check down. Now, one, one other thing that is really, really important is we can utilize motion blocking with this as well. Let's say maybe they're you know sending some pressure at us and we want to be able to block this. One of my favorite strategies to do that is to utilize motion blocking from this formation. And essentially what we're going to do is we are just going to fade the circle receiver and then we're going to motion block this outside bunch receiver just like this. We have the same basic concept, but now you have time and you're able to hit your drag route. Let's say if it's a cover zero man-to-man -man pressure, then you can hit that tight end drag, or you can hit um, that angle pattern. So this is one of the real reasons why I think bunch tight end provides us a lot of opportunities to be able to attack the meta, because we can utilize these motion block concepts just like this, and then it gives us the freedom to be able to hit that drag, corner, and streak combo over on the left side. One thing I did want to point out real quickly is if you do utilize this motion block, and let's say you guess wrong, and they're in a drop eight zone, 
by having that fade route to that in outside or that inside bunch receiver, you're still able to hit your corner route against any kind of major zone. And then let's say they go cover two on you. A lot of times what will happen is when you motion this guy, they might take the hard flat away or whatever. Well, now you have this drag coming across the field. Three rec actually plays a crazy good, um, but you have the drag coming across the middle of the field. So they're not able to just, you know, basically not play hard flat. So, this really requires a lot of adjustments to stop this basic concept this year. And I can't stress to you enough how good the running back angle route is. If you don't have the running back angle route, what you can do with this play is basically the same thing, except you're going to block the running back. And then you're just going to utilize a motion slant uh, where you would utilize that Texas pattern. And a lot of times as a three rec goes crazy there, a lot of times the motion slant will be able to beat man coverage. You can also wait on that motion slant. So like you can throw this, Let's say we wanted to do like this. We can wait on the motion slant to get all the way outside, and then we can throw it, you know, right here when he cuts inside. Another cool part about this play and bunch tight end in general is you get a lot of random bumping this year. And so because of the random bumping, the the bunch, the compression, it really can make this very effective because um, you're going to be able to hit, you know, streaks and fades, and you're going to have a lot of different reads for the blitz. So it's what makes bunch tight end so good. If you want to get my bunch tied in entire offensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. The link's going to be down below in the description. Thanks for watching the video. Remember, 10 bucks gets you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks. So head down to the description, go join the Patreon today for just 10 bucks by clicking the link down below.